in this lecture we will learn this is the final lecture about the ford fulkerson algorithm and here you are going to learn everything miscellaneous that had been left in the first three lectures okay so the first thing that we are going to learn is about the analysis of the ford fulkerson algorithm that how much time it takes okay and the next thing that we would see is the what is the worst case scenario for the ford fulkerson algorithm then we will look at two important extensions of the ford fulkerson the first one is that if we have multiple source and sinks in the graph so what will happen so we have till now worked only for single source single sink what happens if you are given a problem with multiple source and sink the last one is if the graph we had a restriction for ford fulkerson that if there is an edge uv then there should be no edge v comma u in the flow graph okay so but if this is in a practical scenario even a flow if pipeline uh, both ways if the flow can be there so what will you do okay so these are the considerations that we will see here in this lecture so first thing analysis of the ford fulkerson algorithm this is the simple algorithm initialize flow all the flows to zero then what we do while there exists augmenting path p in the residual graph of the flow network augment the flow along the path okay and then return the flow so this if we analyze the so first part initialize flow f to zero so on each of the edges so you make the flow as zero so this will take order of mod e time which is e is the number of edges okay so this line is very simple to analyze while there exists augmenting path p in the residual graph gf okay so now this uh, this is a finding path in residual graph so every time your residual graph the number of edges will be decreasing but maximum number of edges can be e that is the number of edges in the actual graph now to find a path we can use either a depth first search or a breadth first search and that will take order of e o of e time okay o of mod e time it will take so we are done with this while loop how much time it will take to find the path then augment flow f along p so this can be executed maximum of f times okay so this in the while loop the condition can be executed in order of mod e time and this while loop what happens this can be executed maximum of mod f times where f is the maximum number of flows f is the maximum value of the flow in the network the maximum flow that is there in the network itself okay so now hence what happens this while loop can maximum run for f times and each time in the while loop to find the path it will take o of mod e so it will be total of o mod e into f will be the complexity of this okay so generally this f the maximum times it is executed this loop is less but in the worst case what might happen let's see this graph what is the worst case for ford fulkerson algorithm so a flow network is there so where you have s to u u to t 10000 s to v v to t 10000 it's very simple to find maximum flow will be 10000 plus 10000 it's 20000 okay but if you take augmenting path first as s u v t so here if you go like this so the residual capacity of this path is 1 then what happens now if i take this path so my residual graph is 9999 and on the opposite side it's 1 then i have taken one here so it's in the opposite edge it's one now okay and then 999 and here one here now what happens we get another if i take s v u t now one here one here one here so it now again it becomes 
now so one will be again added in the flow here also we will get 9999 and 9999 here so every time it is decreasing by one again if we take this same path alternately if we take so again we will get a one increment here okay so it will be 9998 9998 it will become and now we will again go to this path so if we alternate between the paths s u v t okay s u v t and then s v u t then it will take us how much it will take us because the maximum flow here is 20000 it will take 20000 number of iterations to finish so this way it will become theta of mod e into f okay so this is the complexity of your algorithm so there are five edges so five into 20,000 will be the number of times these operations will run so it's too much but this is some of the worst case scenario where that residual capacity of your augmenting path is really less than all others okay so the next thing is that your teacher you have read everything in full for person algorithm you are now an expert you can solve any problem but suddenly in the exam you see something like this that 4 is going from v2 to v1 3 is going from v1 to v2 then v2 to v4 it's 14 v4 to v2 it's 12 and this is the network flow graph now you are really confused okay so what is this the teacher had told that flow network can't have any anti-parallelage so they had told that if u comma v is and belongs to an edge in the flow network graph then v comma u should not be there in the flow network and that is correct this is important for running of flowed Fulkerson algorithm but the teacher was smart he wanted to check if you can try your own also you can extend and think little beyond the box okay so what he did so you wrote that okay you said directly to the teacher question is wrong sorry sir i cannot answer this it's wrong try to see what you have given have you not seen in your while setting the question paper that you yourself is giving are giving a wrong question but the teacher says sorry you have to try it it's actually a correct question you try and try your brain a little bit so now how to solve these kind of problem can we convert it into a this network flow graph into a flow graph where there are no anti parallel edges so that is simple what we do v2 to v4 just add one more temporary node now v2 to v4 a 14 is there but now while coming back that we break it and now we apply v4 to t2 t2 to v2 so now even though the flow will be the same practically but now there are no anti-parallel edges between the two same nodes okay so this solves your problem similarly here v1 to v2 also we apply a insert a temporary node t1 now v1 to t1 3 flow comes v t1 to v2 also flow 3 comes so this is a pipeline again t1 it's not mattering if you put another what is this here, vertex here okay so but this solves and makes your problem now easily solved with the ford fulkerson algorithm so this is a pre-processing kind of thing that you have to do to make this problem into ford fulkerson algorithm okay so this is one of the variations very important next you see again next question is that multiple source multiple sink now you are saying that okay what what is he giving okay this problem is too complex i know just one source and one sink problem you told in the class now how are you giving these questions all these arbitrary questions you are giving then again the teacher will say okay apply your brain little bit harder okay and if you see so to make the problem into a single source single sync problem just what you do apply a super source here okay super source and a super sync that is shown here and then you give a 
and edge which is of infinite capacity and here also t1 t2 to t the super sink give an infinite capacity so this graph now it's basically you solve the maximum flow for this graph and then you will get the values which will solve for these multiple sink source solution okay problem so why it solves because now here you have no all the capacities are infinite so you have no problem in assigning any amount of flow but the flows will be governed by these edges because they are the bottleneck edges and similarly here when we are going down so you can whatever is the maximum flow it can be it can be handled by these infinite edges okay so this is the idea so i so now this chapter of multiple source so the max flow algorithm is complete i hope that you understand everything about max flow thanks a lot